Hello, hello, dears, and welcome back to the channel Benny Dong by Anna. Today, I'm going to be showing you the harsh reality of a small touristic village on Friday night. You would have thought that Friday night are busy usually which is when a lot of people are going out which is when weekend is coming so there should be quite a lot of people on the outside getting some nice drinks snacks or having some lovely dinner but actually it's all the other way around all beer um, is quite empty right now and a lot of bars and restaurants on the first line of the beach which is the busiest area are totally closed at this very moment i'm gonna show you some prices here you can pause them make a caption and then zoom it in for you guys but basically tapas are like for six seven eight ten euros 13 euros hamburgers more than 10 euros 11 12 14 16 sandwiches 10 11 12 depends uh, but the plates are quite big, so um, they're, it's a uh, slightly reasonable price for the amount of food you're getting. Tapas bars here in Albir as well. Everything, literally everything, right here at the beginning of the beach, which is the busiest place in summer and during summer season. These giant terraces with gorgeous views towards the sea. Everything is closed right now. Here, they don't even put some prices on. No, they just put what they have, but they don't put any kind of prices. That's strange. Many of the day, I've showed it to you some while ago, um, but it's not as um, expensive, to be honest, in here. It's a shame to see all beer bars and restaurants on the front line of the beach, on the first line, just by the sea, to be closed like this. Um, right now, in, in January, towards the end of January already, a lot of places are closed. They're opening up a little bit in the morning, like lunchtime. Oh, there's some people sitting there. I thought we were all by ourselves, but no, some people are actually walking, doing some sports in here. So, um, obviously, it's not like totally silent. It's just people are not going to these bars as for now. There's not many people, not many tourists left here at night time. I suppose many went to... Uh, someone's trying the massage chair right there. Or if it's just... Oh, no, they are actually trying the massage chairs right there. Uh, this is the Ale Hop shop, which is where I've told you you can buy some um, interesting, like crazy, funny things for gifts or just for yourself. And um, they are on sales right now. We have a bunch of these shops all around Benidorm, Altea, Albir, like all around Costa Blanca and in general in Spain. There's like a lot, a lot of them. But these are fun shops. You can get some nice things in there as a present or just for yourselves. Uh, so usually here in Albir, if you are coming to this area, because I know a lot of you do visit Albir during your holidays, just a couple of minutes from Beni Dome by car or by bicycle, by electric scooter, for example, um, or any other mobility vehicle. If you go by bus, it's going to be around 40 minutes with the bus number 10 that you can catch in Beni Dome at the Mediterranean Avenue or Rincon de Loig area. And once you're here, you have quite a lot of things to explore, actually. That Albir village is a small, touristic place doesn't mean that there is not much to see in here. For example, this lovely promenade where we're walking right now goes directly up until Aitea town, which are these lovely lights that you can see right there in front of us in the dark, dark sky of the night. Um, so you can comfortably walk towards Altea back and forth if you want to, to enjoy these lovely views. Obviously, the children's playground right now are empty because it's past 8 p.m. at night and it's quite cold outside. Finally, it's getting chilly. It's been crazy. We've had around 20, 22 degrees lately. And finally, we have some days when we actually can put some winter clothes on in the evening. Some people even put some uh, scarves, you know, like hats, like winter hats, like here. <laughs> Good example. 
uh, and people are putting cozy nice and warm outfits already because it's quite chilly this is kind of what winter is about here in spain and in our region not the 22 degrees that we've had previously although not gonna lie we kind of enjoy that weather here there is another restaurant but they say they will be closed for a whole january this is Noah place. This is a lovely place, actually. Here they have some nice Spanish snacks, cocktails, um, food. They're open for breakfast, uh, lunch, and dinner as well. Put some nice music. And in the evening, they have some cocktails on the upper floor terrace. But right now, sadly, they are closed. So as you can see, evenings and weekends in Albir aren't usually, uh, aren't precisely fun thing to do let's call it like this people here what do people do when they come to albir on weekend basically what they do is they head to explore bigger cities like uh for example alicante or they head to beni dorm and then comfortably just come back whenever they want um they can go to different restaurants for example there is a chinese restaurant that is open restaurants inside of the hotels on the main avenue of Albir, you have a Mexican place, La Tia Juana, which is more or less the same as the one we've showed you in Benidorm, which officially is like the best Mexican place in Benidorm, probably. We loved, loved, absolutely loved the food right there. Uh, and I'm going to leave you the link to that video down below where we first discovered it. As you can see, the only hotel uh, on the front line of the beach is open. Hotel Cactus Albir, surprisingly, it's open. Um, they have a buffet type of style restaurant that is right there on the bottom floor and you can actually see that there's quite some people inside so it's not as quiet as we would imagine it to be but all the streets of albir are just not busy at all simply because people are going elsewhere they choose albir because it's quiet a nice place to stay without any kind of nightclubs shouting yelling you know people getting drunk on the streets and then walking and shouting first thing in the morning you know here this these things usually don't happen even in summer this is not that type of tourism place so people know it and if they want to stay in a quality quiet place the albir is the place they are actually choosing and then why not you're able to go to all the rest of the places you can take a car you can go with a bicycle with a scooter with uh, any kind of motorcycle for example with anything you can and want you can visit all the rest of the places that are slightly more moving <gasps> oh they're selling this place oh okay they're selling this place blue tulip it's called um we're selling this place right now oh that's a lovely restaurant here on the right side and the shops as well i don't think these shops will survive a lot it's koala bay it's uh like a chain of shops uh, uh, accessories and clothings right now they say they're on sales but i don't really see that many people buying stuff in here because it's quite expensive so maybe the shop will be closing too oh the country ribs oh they're they're gonna be changing something there's some sacks with sand hmm. probably they're gonna be doing some refurbishment inside or something a lot of places actually do this right now in a uh, winter time they use this time uh for making some changes they're using this time to make some refurbishment, build something up, change the floors, change the uh, electricity, like and lighting, uh, maybe paint some tables and chairs. You know, this is basically what they're doing during this time of a year. But don't worry. By the way, we've crossed already towards Altea. This is the roundabout that separates officially Altea from Albir. Whenever you walk, you might not even be conscious of that you're actually in Altea or in Albir right now. Sometimes even we do forget where we actually are at, at this specific point. But this is the official separation. Everything starting from here technically is a part of Altea. Although it kind of feels that it's all one same thing. Here on the left side, you have a lovely uh, campsite, camping, um, 
which is really really popular i've seen a lot of people here coming with their own caravans like mobile homes oh here you can see some slightly more people probably they're returning from their night walk towards altea because there is way way more people here which is great don't get me wrong it's absolutely great so this camping people are coming with their own mobile homes or are renting ones that are already here they have this reception um like building right here in front it's called cap blank uh and um as you can see a lot of people are heading there they're usually quite full like all year long this is the name you could have seen the name right there and um it doesn't have a lot of the things like the campsite it's just really really basic campsite but it's right by the sea you have a lovely bar here which we also like a lot the brew rock really recommend it to come here they have some nice shows here they have a stage where they put some djs some live uh, performances as well the prices are also quite good in here they have amazing huge terrace and the inside part some cocktails snacks um full meal steaks salads you have seen it probably right there um and it's really really lovely place to be to be honest with you and especially in summer it's extremely popular between tourists and locals one lovely place that we can recommend you but not the only one there are really a lot of places in here which are one of our favorites right here at the end of albir one of them is zero zero if you want to have a specific occasion, if you want to celebrate a birthday or something, uh, be prepared to spend a slightly bigger amount of money because it's not as cheap as some budget options, restaurants or bars, but it's totally gorgeous place to be, which is this one right here. They have an outside terrace with a pound, like with the water like a tiny tiny artificial lake you have some sofas there that usually right now it's closed because it's really cold but this is like the tiny lake they have here they have sofas where you can get some cocktails some drinks it's absolutely lovely look at this and then on the inside you have uh you have a bar you have all the restaurant area and it's so nicely decorated there's a lot of plants the atmosphere is so cozy nice and warm and the food there is absolutely amazing food cocktails snacks we just love its quality obviously it's being paid for but um this is a place that i can definitely recommend you guys if you want something special during your holidays and if you are here in albir or altea right now there's not many people inside oh they even have a chimney how cozy as you could have seen not many places are actually open on the front line of albira there's slightly more obviously on the main avenue but here with these lovely views not -uh, gonna be difficult to find something except for these places right here on the border with altea so if you want something nice by the sea this is where we recommend to go if you will be here in albira